So means that we as a teacher, we prepare them a tool, okay? The tools to them uh, how to read, to become the independent reader. Not to put them up, just ask them to read, but they know how, uh, they not become the independent reader, okay? And then, how I discovered the sound formula for literacy. The sound, the sound formula, my sound formula is about phonics. Yeah? Okay, the cases are introduced <coughs> phonics to me. Yeah, it's stated in our standard document, in our textbook, in FEP phonics. At first, I had my dad. Okay? After trying out phonics in my U1 class, I discovered that my pupils were able to read a much faster rate than before. Okay, this is what I discovered okay, after I used the phonics approach. Okay, phonics help my people to learn the individual sounds of letter. Then after that, phonics help my people to decode words better. And then by focusing on the blending and segmenting activities, I was able to help my people to be a better reader and become an independent reader. Okay, phonics. What is all about phonics? I think every one of us, we know what is phonics all about, yeah? Okay, phonics, some say it's about the letter sounds, okay? Different sound system, okay, about blending, segmenting, and pronunciation. This is all what we call, what we, our uh, phonics all about. Okay, this is what the, the phonemes, when we use the phonics, uh, the phonic approach, you must know what is the phoneme. Phoneme is the unit of sound, graphene, a letter group of letters representing the sounds, segmenting, dividing words into phonemes, and then blending, combining individual phonemes to form a word. I think for year one, is we, the activity that we always use in the classroom is the segmenting and blending activities, right, for the year one, okay? Phonics, the sound formula. Okay. What is phonics? Phonics is a method of teaching beginners to read and pronounce words by learning to associate letters or letter groups with the sound that we present. Okay, we can find it in internet and many books. Uh, there are many. Uh, uh, what is phonics all about? But this is the, the very simple. Which to this this kind of what is what is phonics? Okay, then this I start with my classroom research to overcome my problem to to um, to use this phonics approach to my to in to my pupils. Okay, okay, my problems here is my pupils had trouble to decoding the words. Yeah, then I use this reflective. Uh, I come okay, to help me to solve my problem and to to um, to find the for the right formula for reading. Yeah, I look at the problem and I think about the problem. Then I make a plan about it and do some review about it, and then the process is still going on. Okay, okay. this is about my action plan. Okay, before I start my lesson, uh, my before I start my classroom research, before I conduct my classroom research, okay. Well, I conducting an internet search and book research on phonics. Okay, we can find so many. Uh, there are many websites about what is phonics, and then books about phonics, and then I'm conduct uh, conducting a classroom observation on the people's reading habit. I want to see okay from the Observation: We can see what is our people's reading habit. How they, how they read uh, before, uh, how they read in the classroom, or how they read by themselves. Okay, and then after that, I'm trying out different types of activities related to the blending and segmenting words. Okay, and then I'm conducting ongoing assessment on the people's reading progress. Okay, recording my lesson activities and writing my personal reflection. Okay. This is about my action plan. Okay. 
this is what I've done okay, during while well, I'm conducting this my classroom research. Yes, I had discussion with my young PDP mentor. Okay. And then in the classroom <coughs> I try out a various phonics activities with my pupils. Okay. And then sharing ideas on phonics activities with other teachers from uh, in my cluster. Okay, and then the classroom assessment and observation for the phonics activity. Okay, discovering okay. system of teaching reading through phonics during my uh, teaching and lesson activity in the classroom, and then experimenting on different types of activities. Okay, and then, all right, this is about my, my phonics board, okay. Actually, uh, this is uh, uh, just a basic uh, phonics activity, but I make it interesting by using my phonics boards to attract the, uh, my people to uh, to do the activity. Okay, I let them uh, I let them uh, pass pass the letter and uh, the the word, then add the letter and then say the word. Okay, this is one of my approach to attract my people in the classroom. <coughs> Okay, this is about my finding before and after I used the phonic approach in my lesson. Okay, before I start with my phonics, <coughs> phonic approach in, the, in my lesson, my people had trouble associating letters with sound. Okay, and then but after I used the phonic approach, my people could recognize and identify the individual sounds of letters. Okay. Then after that, before phonics, my people had trouble to decode the word, decoding the word. But after I used the phonics approach in my classroom, my people can segment and blend words easily. Okay. Before phonics also, my people's reading progress was very slow. But after I used the phonics approach, okay, I teach them how to letter, how to sound the letter do the segment activity and blending the word, the blending the letter, okay, my people were able to read at, much, at a much faster rate, okay. And then, before phonics, reading is a boring and uninteresting call for my people, yeah, because they, they just, they're just repeating what the teachers read. But after I used the phonics approach in my classroom, my people were more engaged in the reading process, they enjoy the segmenting and blending activity because they know they already know how to sound the letter and do the segmenting activity, and they know they are able to blend blending by themselves. Okay, do the blending activity. Okay, and then for myself, okay, before I start with this phonic, um, with my classroom is about phonics approach. I find it's difficult and confusing how to teach reading. But after that, after I use the phonic approach, it's much better and more understand about it. Okay. <coughs> what I learned, okay, what I learned uh, during this, um, the classroom research about phonics, okay. Teaching reading through phonics should be done systematically and regularly. Yeah, that, that, that I think for teachers, this is, if you want to see your, student progress, you must do it systematically and <coughs> regularly. And a regular practice using phonics can help children to be better readers and independent readers. Then phonics should not be taught automatically. Okay, teacher can expand phonics activities by conducting some phonics related activities outside the classroom. Okay, phonics is fun. Make the phonics uh, uh, teaching phonics make it in fun way. Okay, there are various interesting phonics activities that can help teachers to teach blending and segmenting to children. Okay, this is post research. Uh, uh, my post research reflection as a teacher. This is I found that phonics enriches my experience in teaching reading. And then phonics enhance my 
creativity and motivates me to explore more interesting teaching ideas and techniques. Okay, I learned that the best way to teach is by getting back to basics. Okay? And then teaching some letter and association is all about teaching the basic skill of reading. And then phonics has helped me be more open to new ideas and methods. Okay. Okay, let's actually today I want to conduct one of activities in my classroom. So uh, I assume that all of you are my students. <laughs> and I am your teacher. Okay, good. 